We're here at Ketchum High School today where the Ketchum Indians take on the Mayapak Indians. Ketchum needing the win today to keep pace with White Plains in the playoff race. Let's take a look at the highlights. <laughs> Penalties and turnovers were a story this game early on. As you see here, Ketchum fumbles the ball recovered by Mayapak's Ryan Simone. Mayapak would take over at midfield but would not score on the drive. Later in the first, Mayapak Matt quickly with the interception and returns it all the way back to the Indians' five-yard line. On fourth and five, Ketchum sophomore Matt Moldy blocks the Mayapak field goal attempt. We remain scoreless in the first. Ketchum's Matt Krumholtz breaks some tackles and breaks free for a 41-yard touchdown run, giving the Indians a 6-0 lead with 55 seconds left in the first quarter. With time running down in the first half, Ketchum's Roddy Kearney catches it in the end zone for an 11-yard touchdown. The Indians go into halftime leading Mayapak 13-0. Ketchum came out in the second half, fired up on their first offensive possession when Kevin Duke found J.J. Mulvey in the end zone for a 22-yard touchdown. Ketchum takes the lead 20 to nothing. But Mayapak would not give up as Charles Hetty breaks some tackles here and brings Mayapak all the way down to the 35-yard line. Same offensive possession. Andrew Niels hauls in a 35-yard touchdown catch from Ryan Ethan, making the score 20-6 with just under five minutes remaining in the game. Bazooke would take over, breaking free here for a 35-yard gain, bringing it down to the nine-yard line for Ketchum. Then two plays later, Kevin Duke finds a hole, and he rushes into the end zone for nine yards. Even Mom is loving it on the sidelines. Ketchum's Austin Lyle intercepts Ryan Ethan's pass in the end zone to seal the victory for the Indians. Ketchum goes on to win 28-6, the final in their league champs. I've been waiting four years for this, and especially against that team that has kicked our butt for three years now since I've been here. And coming out here and beating them in this fashion for league champs, I wouldn't want any other thing. Uh, it's a once in a lifetime. The kids have put themselves in a position where they had two quarters to go to uh, be the number one seed going into sectionals. And as I've said, that, that's never happened in school history. And we've been working hard to build something here. Um, and I have a group of kids that have been up with me, f several starters. They've been here three or four years. And they've taken their lumps. And <clears throat> this is their turn. And uh, it was important for them. And they took care of business.